You're watching Time and Time because watches aren't boring. Welcome back to Time and Tide. It is Watch Fair season. We are rolling now, and today we are talking about a brand that I'm going to give away just by holding up this little box. It's IWC. Now, we usually start with a wrist check. At the moment, there's a very disappointing wrist of emptiness right here. I'm going to put this on as we speak, and I'm going to reveal it. It is the IWC Spitfire Pilots Chronograph. Such a beautiful watch with that patina on the hands. Anyone that doesn't like patina, I think is crazy. It's had so much character. I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna ask you while I do, what are you wearing today? Honestly, I really care. I care so much that we are going to give away this bad girl right here, which is a Time and Tide Deluxe Double Watch Box. and has a watch in it. I'm not gonna show you that. That's gonna be given away to any person that comments on what they're wearing and also what they think of these new IWC releases. So today we are going to reveal our top five IWC watches of 2021 so far, as well as welcome a guest down to the stage. It is Mr. CEO of IWC, Chris granger Air. Welcome to the stage, Chris. That is absolutely not Chris Granger Air, that is Bradley Cooper, but Chris is coming up. In short, IWC's big story this year is the Big Pilot 43, which is a reduction in size of one of the brand's most popular models. Now, this watch has been on an interesting journey over the years. It started out as a massive tool watch for pilots to wear in the 40s um, in active flight. In 2002, it was released as a an iconic pilot's watch that still retained a lot of those really tool watch origins. And now we have a very much civilian life ready big pilot in a much smaller size. However, there is sort of a kinky fetish that Chris and I have when we see each other over Zoom, which is nothing like the real thing. I ask him what kicks he's wearing with his watch and what his watch is in the first place. I couldn't stop myself doing it again. So, oh, <laughs> there we go, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> He's done it again. What, what is on the wrist today? It's the SFTI uh, chronograph on the uh, green dial with the uh, matching uh, Air Force One Gore-Tex. There you go. <laughs> and the second thing I wanted to ask Chris is, let's mix and match some straps live for me. So I asked him to take my favorite IWC of this year, apart from the BP43, which is that racing green uh, 41 millimeter chronograph. Change it up. Show me it on bracelet, show me it on leather. This is what happened. I'll figure that in a minute because I do think that this is a very interesting one, and I was actually surprised because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm somebody who wears a lot of blue, but um, when I started wearing the 41 Chrono, I actually went for green dial on bracelets, and thanks to the uh, quick change system, I can actually reconfigure this quickly. So let me. That's so cool. This. Whoa. So that li yes. Literally, you have that combo now. And now we're into the top five. I'm bringing in a special guest. It is Nick Kenyon. Now the top five, my favorite part of the video because I have a friend. How are you going, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here and we're talking about IWC. What have we got? Number one? There's no doubt it has to be the Big Pilot 43. It Incredible. was the, the hero watch of the year. And I've chosen the blue dial because this again points to another new thing about this. It is a blue dial that isn't a Liberty Prince. Yep. As for bracelet, strap, I don't care, any of them. Like yep. they're, they're all interchangeable. The fact that you can do that with a Big Pilot is already a novelty. So. You can choose whatever you like, but that's definitely the biggest watch of the year for me. Absolutely, couldn't agree. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't agree more. Number two, we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> Number two, we're talking about the green dial chronograph. So it's the color that we saw first, I think it was last year in the Portuguese family with a time only. It's exactly that color, racing green. Racing green, absolutely mm. stunning. Got an exhibition case back, interchangeable straps, everything you love, nothing you don't. Anything else to add? Just that you've used that line in another video? Well, I'm <laughs> nothing if not consistent. <laughs> no. My next choice is the Mojave Big Pilot. Mojave was introduced, that sandy kind of uh, taupe, ceramic, beige, ceramic, whatever you want to call it, color scheme was introduced uh, last year, but now we have it in a Big Pilot. It is such an attractive change up as a yeah. color. I know that uh, Chris Granger Air, the CEO, absolutely loves color matching his sneakers and clothes with it. It's a great watch. Next up. 
the Blue Dial Perpetual Calendar Big Pilot. Now, what's interesting about this year is that it is not a boutique limited edition that is exclusive to the Le Petit Prince uh, collection within the Big Pilot. So mm -hmm. exciting that blue is getting democratized. It's the color that everybody seems to want. And for a perpetual calendar, I think it looks fantastic. Also exciting is that there's a Southern Hemisphere moon on the uh, Correct. moon phase indicator. For us, uh, all the way on the other side of the earth down here in Australia, we're pumped about it. Thanks Thank very you, much. Thank you, Chris. Great, Big Pilot 43, Black Dial is my fifth choice, kind of an easy one. Yep. Again, I think there's so much focus on, on this new, sort of more reasonably sized Big Pilot. Uh, again, all the conveniences of a modern watch, love it. And black and blue, tough choice for dial. It's up to you. Yep. That's all, Nick. Thanks for watching. See you next time.